I've sunk an enemy destroyer. Trump in the waves under the moonlit sky. Silent hunter, the sea's deadly spy. Guns at the ready, on the prowl. Enemies near, it's time to growl. Wings in the sky, thunder. Hey team, this is Ripper here. You guys are doing fantastic today. Got a really, really interesting and fun video with the new and improved 2024 Tromp of uh, the uh, World of Warships design here of the Dutch, I believe, uh, cruiser. I don't know. I just know that's a Tromp. It's a tier 10 a destroyer. It's pretty awesome. Let's get right to it. So before we begin, if you see value in the channel, like subscribe button below. Appreciate all the support. For those subs, do another premium giveaway. So let's get right to it. What is the Tromp? Tromp is a... New and improved um, Dutch destroyer. It um, they what they improved was the airstrike capability uh, for uh, 12 kilometers now. Before it was 10, but that was seemed a little bit too short range when you got like you know Gudenlo and um, other uh, these airstrike uh, kind of dis or ships can reach out to about 13 or 12 ish, and it's, it's safer because of the radar threat. Because what's the biggest threat to destroyers? It is 12 kilometer radar. And look at that right there, first blood devastating strike right off the bat with those torpedoes and if you guys don't know this thing is it's got everything i mean first of all let's talk about what we just did right there 12 the 12 kilometer torpedoes fifteen thousand damage even a little destroyer can't handle that 71 knots with a 6.8 second reaction time that's pretty darn good right there and it's got a 70 second reload the other thing you're seeing we're building it for a long range gun build 150 millimeter guns 150 millimeter guns guys coming out 900 meters per second 30 mil pin damage and they're and it's literally 3.8 second reload and reaching out to that 15.9 kilometer range as we build for this is a full gun build by, by for for example or by the way ladies and gentlemen and then here we go another destroyer two destroyers down right off the bat eliminating delta team right there the guns do kill destroyers pretty darn well as um as well as guys i mean it is a a powerful powerful little destroyer and so we got the guns we talked about 15.9 kilometer range this is a long range gunboat build right here guys you got the torpedoes that reach out to 12 kilometers. Airstrikes that we were talking about in a minute. Going out to 12 kilometers as well with a 47 second reload. And, and oh my goodness, third kill right there. Literally destroying the, almost the entire flank at Delta here. And you can tell my team is very happy right there. I mean, this thing burns ships down like crazy. Again, you can see the long-range gun build, just like I've, I've been doing reviews of the videos, the most annoying destroyers. I mean, uh, Trump might be up there as the one uh, that might be super, super down. Here's the airstrikes right there. You can see reaching out to almost 12 kilometers right there, bombing somebody in smoke. Very, very good. I'm not very good at it. Um, but you could see right there, I don't know what's wrong with the reticle. If someone out there in YouTube can help me figure out why the graphics card in Windows can display some of the reticles for torpedoes or airstrikes these days, help. let me know and what to do. I've updated the driver. I don't know what else to do. I've got the uh, guns, the torpedoes, the bombs, depth chargers. They drop 16 of them, so they're good at effectively getting submarines if you can uh, somehow catch one. It's got the engine boost that lasts about 60 seconds but you get your speed up to 25 percent and more so i don't like the, the the lasting time of it 60 seconds that's not long enough for me this thing is slow as sin by the slow as molasses it can only go maximum speed about 30 35 knots i believe and i don't like it engine boost it helps it a little bit but for only a minute and it's got the dfa why would i need dfa when my guns only go out to 3.5 it's got the crappiest aa but surprisingly it can shoot somewhat of planes you know down so uh so overall what do i think of the um the tromp here before we go into the game i think especially with this long range gun build ladies and gentlemen reaching the guns that reach out to 15 point you notice i started shooting at the battleship as soon as i saw him and guess what he did he did not charge in he did not push he turned around Look at the, what a power of one little destroyer can do. Almost as annoying as a submarine. So I would have to say, you know, Trump with this long-range gun build might be a contender for one of the most annoying ships out there because not only can it torpedo from stealth, it can also, um, you know, drop airstrikes from stealth. It can now shoot from long range and just really piss everybody off at Delta. Look at that. The entire flank is gone. 
and, and they're just running away, okay? Now, what was the other bring? The airstrikes. So we talked about 47-second reload, 3,700 bombs. Now, the only downside is it only penetrates 20, 20 millimeters. Fire chance is incredible. I think that's what you're really using it for is the fire chance. And uh, we'll speed up the video to get past the sailing. But, yeah, the fire chance, it's pretty darn ridiculous and pretty incredible. The health pool is amazing with no heal. 28,000 H pool for you to work with right there is incredible. Very, very powerful. Notice I'm also not building a stealth build right here. I, I sacrificed concealment for the long range gun. So 6.6 .6 concealment, which is not too, too bad. It is, but you can get it down to 5.9, which is still not as good as like all these other destroyers out there that's like that are playing and it's suffering's out, out detect you and everything. So having a 5.9 second used to be good, but like I said, for this kind of style, um, build the reason why i sacrifice concealment for the trump is i don't want to get caught in close because why we lack hydro we lack radar we lack any kind of ability our maneuverability is crappy our guns turrets are slow the gun reload is slow so you don't want to be kind of caught inside of like any kind of detection for example as soon as i get detected by let's say a z52 boom he pops his hydro and then i'm stuck for about a kilometer of trying to get out of it and and he's in smoke that's the downside. I don't like pushing with a Tron because its defensive capabilities are pretty darn weak. But I do, what I do like is its offensive capabilities are pretty darn strong. It's got the, like I talked about, three types of weapon systems, guns, torpedoes, and bombs. You do it all, literally. The, that title of the video should be uh, uh, Trump does it all. You know, so the 2024 Trump does every single thing and it's so so darn powerful for that and you it's better as a standoff weapon rather than actually pushing so my play style with it as you can just see right off the bat i was nowhere near any of the engagements i was doing i had 12 kilometer torpedoes hit the target i had guns i could reach out and blow up somebody i had guns for the the destroyer that was spotted by somebody else so i'm not really an a um go in and try to spot everything and kill everything that is one play style but actually the play style i actually think is way way more effective is the standoff range and it is proving to be very very darn effective and very very annoying as well so you can see how are we going to secure this we pretty much it seems like we're going to win this game right we got three caps we're going to blow up this battleship but man it, it i mean battleships nowadays are running in the back you see it's so Playing against these long-range battleships nowadays as a story, you're going to have to get these longer-range guns and try to figure out how to solve it another way. So let's get right to it. How are we going to win this game? We got three kills, 79,000 damage in the first 10 minutes of the game. We're at the halfway point right here, so we've got to eliminate this battleship. Notice that the airstrikes are there. We've got the guns. We've got the torpedoes. I don't think I will be able to take on the submarine because this thing is slow as molasses like I talked about. And trying to catch a submarine is really, really diff difficult. I also sacrifice RPF. You, you guys have noticed that my builds normally with a destroyer will be with um, RPF because I do like having that situational awareness. However, I've noticed that it's not as good for this destroyer because I'm not going around trying to hunt people and I could care less if someone detects me or try to look for me. I'm normally sitting kind of mid-range to long range, so I'm not too, too worried about actually getting detected, spotted, hunted down. I mean, I'm literally going to try to stay close to my, uh, my, my friendly team as well as try to do maximum damage from long range. So if I do get shot at, I've got the engine boost to get out of dodge, and then I've also got the ability to just either return fire, airstrike, or torpedo, and get out of town. So that's the, my thought process on that. You guys let me know what you think. But right now, we're going to see if we can burn down this Palmer and get him out of the game before we ingress into Alpha, because, again, we don't have the sustained uh, armor and firepower, especially with our team sitting in the back here. I mean, GK, Prince, Yorgen, we're, we're, there, we're spotting for them. Let them run around over here. We're going to... T try to take it right up to alpha and see if we can burn the palmer down and let's see if we can speed it up and get okay there he is so great i like the airstrike viewpoint very very good right there i can't aim i mean I, without having those squares it's so difficult to aim so i kind of just roughly guesstimate where these bombs are going to be at and let's see if we can get the strikes yep i miss a little bit of strikes on the back there but anyways it didn't get enough and we start the last perma fire right there which is going to knock him out and let's see if we can get that final kill make this a crack and hopefully Come on, baby. All right. Some these guns feel a little wonky, even though they're coming out 900 meters per second. Still got a little arc to them, so it may be difficult. Again, not impossible to aim with long range. And boom, there it is. Splash four. 108,000. Now, here's a sweet spot right here. Cruisers. We melt cruisers like crazy, especially with these guns. I'll show you again. They penetrate 30 millimeter, 11% chance, fire chance. So we can definitely get this thing down. I mean, only 14K left. Let's see if we can. I'll show you the power of what the uh, thing can do against uh, cruisers. We're out of range for the, uh, the airstrike, so we're just going to have to rely on consistent guns right here. And you can see penetrate. It doesn't matter where we hit. We're going to get it. Look at that. 1,700 damage. And final shot. 
Boom, cracking right there. Unleash five kills, 116,000 damage. With seven and a half minutes left in the game, and now our turn is to take on the Wisconsin. Literally mopping up the entire team over here at uh, Delta and Alpha. So we're going to have to eliminate this other battleship. And I bet you this Wisconsin is not liking not having a good day fighting against a Trump. Now, look, the slim profile. Even with the accurate guns of the Wisconsin, firing on a Trump like um, slim profile is very, very difficult. And it's, I mean, this thing is a small ship from long range. It is long when you start getting like really close up to it because the Trump, I mean, although it looks small and thin and nimble, man, this thing is somewhat of a long uh, kind of a cruiser like that when you put it up against other destroyers. Look, look at the size of this thing. I mean, I, I'll move the camera so you can see. Look, it's a long ass little cruiser. However, it's, it is still thin. Look at that. So pretty darn thin, but very, very big caliber guns. Very powerful hitting, hard hitting. And let's see if we can fire some more HE right onto a superstructure. It doesn't matter what he can do. It's going to hurt, man. These things pen 30 mil. It's going to also destroy a lot, I'm sorry, a lot of fires. I don't care what you are, Wisconsin. Even with his little F funny button key, it's hard to, to go up against all this fire starting capability and 2,000 damage right there on the superstructure. A lot, a lot of power in these HE shells as well. Let's see what they can produce. 2150 max damage on the HE shells. So, man, these things are powerful, and I'm recapping the spot as well for our team. We're spotting. I mean, look, even with 6.6 .6 kilometers, we're doing the best we can. Again, we're getting spotted by the, the submarine here. Nothing I can do. I have no idea where he's at. He's not pinging. He's not doing anything to me. So I can't go chase him down. I don't have any kind of hydro, no RPF, no speed. So this thing really, again, that's why having um, RPF isn't really good and effective. I think having this longer range build, the, fire re the firepower, the reload rate built for guns, is a lot more effective than uh, you know trying to hunt down anything. Again, this is not a destroyer hunter killer. This is more of that long range support role style. Again, with the amount of firepower this thing provides, it's got a lot of DPM it can and really use. So we're gonna get around this corner and hopefully spot. Hopefully my team can get the Wisconsin. Now aiming at a, a running away battleship it proves to be a lot more difficult than. And here's the submarine. Here we go. And like, what's he gonna do? He's gonna go. He's gonna go underwater right away. So nothing I can do. I have no hydro, no RPF. Don't know where he's at other than the pings. Now, here's the annoying part of the, the pinging. He can ping an unlimited amount of times. Nothing I can do about it. You're going to see a little demonstration of dodging torpedoes as well while firing, okay? So I'm getting shot at by everybody. I'm, I'm doing pretty much the majority of the work here. Okay, so we got torpedoes coming at us while still firing. So right click, right mouse button. Okay, let's take a, let's learn how to be a good destroyer player here, okay? Learning point right here. Academic situation. I've got the right mouse button holding with free look enabled. So that means that I was able to aim and right click and hold so I can take a look at the current threat. Wisconsin is not the threat right now. Free look, I'm going to look around. The current threat is torpedo. So I, how did I learn this by watching other YouTube guys? So submarine is way too far away. It's probably running away just like I would, right? So this is like a running away destroyer. I'm a running away destroyer. The submarine is going to stay underwater. No way to kill them. I have depth charges that are useless against them. My guns can't do anything. Only I can do is dodge. Now, I've already I've used my damage con to break the lock of torpedoes. So within a certain amount of distance, these torpedoes will home to your ship to where it's going to think you're going to be at. So they lead by vector, okay? So it's going to ask the computer, RNG gods, estimate the vector of your ship. Where is it going to be in the next few seconds? Those torpedoes will then aim for the center of your ship that way. But... Once they get within a certain distance, I don't know the distance off the top of my head. Again, this requires a PhD level. I am not a PhD in this game. You guys go out and Google it. Someone is probably already on the math. Just know that they break the lock within a certain amount of distance. So I get, usually guesstimate, hey, about right here where you can see where maybe, I don't know, half a click, whatever, they start breaking the distance right around this. And when you see torpedoes at this distance, know that's what's going to happen. Once this distance happens, I want you to basically, you you keep your, your drive going, watch where they're going, and then the lock breaks, start your hard left turn, slam on the brakes. So let's take a look at it. Okay, the... the the torpedoes have now broken the lock. I've already disengaged. The, I've done the disengaged tor torpedo homing mitigated by doing damage con. I keep firing like I always do, right? And there, there goes the brakes to lock. I slam on the brakes, turn left, and they totally miss. Now he re-pings me again. Okay, now, guys, tell me, what can I do to defend against that? I get my damage con in 34 seconds. He gets his ping literally like in every 10 or 15 seconds-ish. How are you supposed to play against that? And he gets unlimited pings. I get... Somewhat unlimited damage cons, but they only last. They only get us so many within a certain amount of minute. So it's not fair, honestly. At that point, but whatever. This is warfare. It's not supposed to be fair, right? Whatever. I'm gonna keep firing at Wisconsin. Now I know his torpedoes on reload, so I'm not too worried. Look, he can keep ping me all day long. Oh, he's got it up to a minute now. Look, my damage con doesn't even last that minute. Uh, okay, look now. 
Now my damage stun doesn't work. I'm totally defenseless right here, right? All I can do is literally just dodge, like or gaming always says, right? So the torpedoes think I'm going to go to the left right here. They're think they're going to aim where my ship is probably going to be, like right here in the next five seconds, right? So it's going to aim at this spot. Knowing that, you got to dodge fake and head fake them. So what's going to happen is they're still locked onto me, right? I'm going to keep my turn going in. The lock is going to break eventually somewhere right in front of my ship around half the distance right here or whatever you want to estimate. Just whatever it looks like right here. So just imagine horizon, cut that in half. Somewhere right here, it breaks the lock. That's what I use for my reference, okay? So right there, it breaks the lock. Now, no, notice the torpedoes are going to eventually intercept me right there. I'm going to just keep the right turn going, head fake, and then turn back left really soon. And look, it, it doesn't have enough room to turn. Yeah, I've noticed that these homing torpedoes still home at the last half click, so I don't know. That seems kind of shady and sus to me. That's a little bit of cheating RNG right there. I've done everything I could. My damage con's still low. I'm saving the damage con for a fire or maybe a like a, a torpedo home. Look at this. These torpedoes are coming out like rapid fire machine guns. Okay, now look. Okay, it's coming right here. It's going to turn to the left. I know it's going to turn to the left, so I'm going to try to head fake it, keep going right, and fake it so it keeps going to the right and thinks I'm going to head fake, head fake, and then turn left at the last minute. Wow, that torpedo still turned last minute right there. I think that's an RNG cheating right there. Whatever. War game is going to listen to me. I'm just going to show you guys what's happening here. It's cheating. It's supposed to break the lock at the last minute. I don't know. It keeps homing all the way to the last seconds these days. All right, we're going to take out this Wisconsin. Look how much firepower. I'm 169,000 damage. I'm still trying to kill this guy. Okay, now here's the problem. I blew... Okay, cool. Six kills. Yay, I did six kills. I killed literally half the team. Okay, but that's still not enough. The problem is I've captured all three points now. I should have literally gone undetected, but because I was still firing at the battleship and then the, the, the submarine is still shooting at me, and he could potentially still be spotting me. I forget this Thunderer is right here, and he is probably going to nail me right there, and that is the, what led to the problem of the downfall of this uh, Game of Throws. Because look, he is still gonna, probably going to spot me, and then I'm shooting at nothing here. I can't, I don't see the submarine. Look at that torpedo turn. Okay, thank goodness. Uh, let's see here. Michelangelo takes out our Prince Eugen. GK takes out this, the sub, uh, submarine with the depth charge. He still got me locked. There's nothing I can do about this. I've tried to break. I did everything could. I get hit. I'm, I'm, I'm literally like smoking crack. Now, look, because I had to turn away from that torpedo, I run into the Thunderer. That was my problem. And because I didn't have the concealment, yes, there's the downside. I didn't play concealment, so it's my bad for that. But again, I should have literally stayed undetected the whole time. Because I wouldn't have been dealing with the submarine had I had to turn away. I would have kept going to Bravo. But that was my problem. The submarine literally is the anti-ship weapon system. And it caused me to make this mistake. I get spotted right now. I'm perma-spotted by Thunderers. Nothing I can do. He takes out the last kill of the GK. And holy crap, we could have won this game. We were up by 900. And again, this is the reversing. Uh, this should be reversed. We were 945 up. But there's nothing I can do at this point. I try to get away, can't break the lock, can't get behind, I'm slow as molasses. Ooh, that, that shot thunderer is a melting, uh, fire-breathing dragon. And boom, he kills me. <laughs> Holy cow. What a game. Way to go. Good job right there, though, that thunderer. Props to you. Six kills. Even if you kill half the team, it still ain't going to cut the mustard. Um, man, we did everything we could. I mean, you devastating strike. We eliminated the team on the right flank. We eliminated the team on the left flank. We get Confederate. Yeah, you, you better believe we got Confederate. Damaged six ships. Yeah, we got the Kraken with six kills. So, uh, but holy crap. 170,000 damage. My best game ever probably in the Trump. We did torpedo hits. We did bomb hits. We did gun hits. We did fire. We did flooding. We captured spots. We just spotted for everybody. And you better believe we better be number one. We literally did more than, uh, what, nine players of the team. We were at the top. The last three guys is what saved him right there. And if they had just this submarine, my gosh, I, I really have I not told you guys how much I hate submarines. Anyways, um, look, look at the details of the game. We did 170,000 damage. I think this long range gun build is really awesome. You mean 100,000 damage just with the shell, the gun hits alone. Torpedoes did amazing job. We eliminated a submarine. I mean, sorry, a destroyer just with that. Airstrikes were doing great times and flyers. And I mean, we're, the fires were all over the place. We did 1 million potential damage. If I if I remember my rule, if you do 1 million potential damage in a destroyer, you are literally uh, annoying. You are able to absorb that much damage and be, take fire. Pretty darn incredible with 20, 28,000 HP for the um, the Trump. Pretty darn good for a destroyer. I mean, I think it's actually a creep, power creeping a lot of the other old destroyers because older destroyers only get about 22, 23,000. I mean, you start in the 28,000 to 30,000. I mean, that's ridiculous. We spotted well. 
we lasted the majority of the battle right there. 17 minutes in the game. And if only we could have just stayed undetected, we would have won. My bad on that one. Maybe that was that was probably why people take concealment and think, huh, you probably knew that. But again, I was getting attacked like crazy by a submarine. Nothing you can do about it um, for the Trump. But you can see I was dodging torpedoes left and right. He, he did it. I hate submarines, whatever. Anyways, here we go. There's the battle assessment right there. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, if you like what we're doing here, support us. Uh, let us know. Spread the word. And uh, we're at 4,000 subs doing another premium giveaway. When you guys see me out there, say hi. As always, you guys have been great. Let's make this a better community and a better environment. And until next time, we'll see you soon. Cheers.